Welcome to Bald Guy DIY. In this video, I'm gonna tell you why I think coding is the most important skill for a DIYer. As we all know, the term DIY or do it yourself can really apply to almost anything in life. You could do it yourself to make something for your home, for school, for work, as a gift. You could do DIY dentistry if you wanted, DIY surgery, though probably not recommended, certainly not endorsed by this channel. The potential for developing skills and abilities for your own do-it-yourself projects is just as unlimited as the number of projects and areas of specialty that you could have. For most DIYers, it's going to be a lifelong learning experience and there are so many different things that vie for your attention. Depending on your interests and natural aptitudes, there might be hundreds of different skills for you to learn. In this video, I'm gonna share with you three main reasons why I think you should add coding to your repertoire if you don't already know how to do it. And if you already know how to code certain things, this might expand your view a little bit to think of other ways that you could use your experience or continue to develop it. So without further ado, let's jump into it. The first reason why you need to learn to code is for usefulness. And you might think, but I do woodworking, or I do metalworking, or I do something that doesn't use any coding at all, how is that going to be useful to me? Well, coding really affects so many different things, and so I wanna explain some of those uses, the obvious ones and the not so obvious ones. The obvious ones, of course, are the things like learning how to code helps you with electronics, learning how to code helps you create web pages, knowing how to code could help you use CNC machinery, Knowing how to code can add so many different efficiencies and uses with countless different applications that you could apply to everything from actually making the projects with things like 3D modeling, OpenSCAD that I've shown in a few videos before, to things like G-code in a CNC or computer controlled equipment. You could create web pages and add some customizations that don't exist with any of the template software all of those things require a knowledge of code in order to be able to do them. But that's not where it ends, that's only the tip of the iceberg. Some of the less obvious reasons to learn to code are for things that would optimize other parts of your life. For example, as a DIYer, do you use online auctions to find materials or equipment that you can use in your projects? It can take a lot of time and energy and discipline to keep going back to those auction sites week after week or day after day to be able to find good deals. And timing is really important to make sure that you find the deals when they become available. Simply going back manually over and over again can wear you out pretty quick. Well, with just a little bit of code, you could automate that whole process and get updated notifications every time something new that you're interested in shows up on that auction site. You could create automatic bid strategies or many other things that become unlocked when you know how to code and seem impossible when you don't. Do you use spreadsheets to keep track of your projects, materials, all of those kinds of things? Well, a few lines of code and you can organize those better, create automations, macros, and things that can be executed very quickly and repeatedly to get you much more efficient results. There are also incredible automations that you can do to simplify sharing things on social media. So if you wanted to post updates of products that you're creating, you could create scripts or programs that would run automatically uploading your pictures, making comments, even responding to people who've made comments on your posts. Those are incredible things that exist and are easy to tap into if you know how to code, but again, feel impossible or way out there if you don't. The learning curve might seem really steep at the beginning, but using programming languages like Python make it much easier and you can really pick up a lot of information in a very short amount of time. There are huge forums, lots of widely available resources in order to make that journey simpler. So learning how to code is one of the most important things you can do to expand your capability and also your availability of information, knowledge, and shortcuts. The second aspect of coding, why it's so important to DIY, is because of value. To buy commercially available software, often you're going to pay a fee either upfront to purchase it or a subscription fee in order to keep that software running month after month. That might be a great deal for you and you can certainly justify the cost if it's worthwhile enough, but by learning how to code, you can do a lot of those same tasks that you would do in paid software 
for free because you learned how to execute that code yourself. One of the main principles of DIY is value. How do you get better value out of something? And as I've mentioned before, DIY is not worth it if there's not a value increase over something that you can already buy. It needs to be better than what's commercially available or cheaper or enrich your life in some other way, maybe just learning and developing new skills. And so learning to code hits all of those points. You can create features that don't exist in commercially available software that are just right for your particular needs. Once you can code, almost everything becomes free because the programming languages themselves are freely available. And your life becomes enriched because once you learn to code, you see opportunities to use it absolutely everywhere. I'm always astounded at how many things inspire me to say, oh, I could probably do that if I spent a little time learning how, and how much the world opens up when you have those skills. Even if they're just in a rudimentary or basic ability, they really do give you option after option after option that become unlocked the more you add to your knowledge. The last thing I want to address is how coding changes your outlook on the world and in a very functional and useful way. When you're used to creating lines of code and then troubleshooting them, you really develop some great habits for structure, form, design, and also for flow of projects, troubleshooting, and so many other things. By learning how to code, it might seem you're just accomplishing the task at hand, but you're also training yourself in how to approach problems, how to resolve situations that are not working, fix bugs, that kind of thing. It gives you great repetitions on analytical thinking skills and in how to do things in a logical and formulaic way, which can be very helpful, not only when you're mapping out and planning how to do a DIY project, but also when you're thinking about things like efficiencies, how to do them better, and maybe even to move from a one-off or custom application to one that you can repeat over and over again in a production style. There are so many other reasons that learning to code is valuable. We always say it's the way of the future, but I can honestly say it's the way of right now. And the things that I've learned to code have helped in so many different ways, many of them in ways that I didn't even anticipate when I started out. Those are my two cents on the issue anyway. If you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to the channel, give the video a like, and check back regularly as I post new content every week. If you wanna share with me a way that coding has changed your DIY life, or if you have questions about how coding could improve a particular area that you're interested in, leave a comment below or send me an email, my information's in the description. I've been really busy lately, putting all of my time and energy into creating a new escape room scenario that's gonna launch in a couple weeks, but I want to share this idea with you and hope it inspires you to get started in coding in a way that you either haven't approached before or in new ways that you hadn't considered. Thanks for watching, that's all I have for this week. And until next time, in all your DIY projects, don't be afraid to expand a little and be bolder.